What are Horst and Graben? Horst and Graben are geological terms that describe distinct landforms created by the movement of tectonic plates. The Earth's crust is made up of a series of large plates that move slowly over time. As these plates shift and collide with each other, they can create a variety of different geological features, including mountains, valleys, and rifts. Horsts are raised blocks of land that are created by the stretching and pulling apart of the Earth's crust. When two parallel faults move away from each other, the block of land in the middle is lifted up. This creates a high, elongated ridge or mountain range, with steep slopes on either side. Horsts can vary in size, ranging from a few hundred meters to several kilometers in width. Grabens, on the other hand, are sunken blocks of land that form in response to tectonic forces. When two parallel faults move towards each other, the block of land in the middle drops down, creating a trough or basin. This can result in a valley or canyon, with steep cliffs or escarpments on either side. Like horsts, grabens can vary in size, from narrow channels to broad basins that cover hundreds of square kilometers. Horsts and grabens are often found together in a feature called a rift valley. Rift valleys are long, narrow valleys that form when the Earth's crust is stretched and pulled apart. The central part of the valley is typically a graben, while the surrounding areas are horsts. Rift valleys can be found all over the world, including the East African Rift Valley and the Rio Grande Rift in North America. Horsts and grabens can also be found in areas of mountain building, where tectonic forces cause the Earth's crust to be compressed and folded. In these areas, horsts can form the core of a mountain range, while grabens can be filled with sediment and become valleys between the mountains. Overall, horsts and grabens are important geological features that help us understand the complex processes that shape the Earth's surface. They are formed by the movement of tectonic plates and can be found in a variety of different settings, from rift valleys to mountain ranges. How are Horst and Graben formed? Horst and Graben are geological features that are formed as a result of tectonic plate movement and the associated faulting that occurs. Tectonic plates are large slabs of the Earth's lithosphere that are constantly moving, driven by the forces of convection in the mantle below. As these plates move, they interact with one another, creating a variety of geological features including mountains, valleys, and rifts. Horst and Graben are typically found in areas where the Earth's crust is being stretched and pulled apart, as is the case in rift valleys. In these regions, two parallel faults will move away from each other, causing the central block of land to rise up and form a horst. At the same time, the blocks of land on either side of the faults will drop down, forming grabens. The formation of horsts and grabens in rift valleys is a result of tensional forces within the Earth's crust. As tectonic plates move apart, the pressure on the underlying rocks is reduced, allowing them to expand and stretch. This stretching leads to the formation of normal faults, which are faults that result from the movement of rocks in opposite directions. When two normal faults occur on either side of a block of land, the block can be uplifted to form a horst, while the areas on either side of the faults will drop down to form grabens. In mountainous regions, horsts and grabens can form as a result of compressional forces rather than tensional forces. In these regions, the Earth's crust is compressed and folded, leading to the formation of large mountain ranges. Within these ranges, Horsts can form as uplifted blocks of rock, while grabens can form as sunken valleys between the mountain ranges. Overall, horst and graben formation is a result of the complex interplay of tectonic forces and the geology of the underlying rocks. The creation of these features can have a significant impact on the topography and landscape of an area, and studying them can help geologists better understand the geological history of a region. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.